you do a surgery on the esophageal trees or you connect things, do you ever have concern of narrowing at all? Sure. Um, what the problem is that you want to do is you want to be proactive. You want to prevent it. So you can always have some element of scarring. Again, whenever you put things together, they can scar. But what you can do is you can decrease the amount of acid that comes up from the stomach because acid will tend to make it scarred. The other thing you can do is feed them because what feeding does is it, it bolsters, it sort of widens the esophagus. As the esophagus grows, it widens it as you feed, and so that will also prevent scarring. So it's the amount of food going through and preventing the acid from coming up. And that's why we give them all antacids to take. We actually, I'll actually do it for a year. So and that will reduce the amount of scar. So prognosis, unless we have a lot of other complications, is usually pretty good? It's great. The, the thing that you want to look for is that these children are totally normal. As long as there are no other complications, the child should be able to eat. Their motility, which means the movement of the esophagus, may be a little bit problem. Um, but that usually gets better with growth. Sometimes you'll actually listen to a child about TEF and you'll hear this barking cough um, and you wonder what that's from. And remember, what I said is that the esophagus and the trachea, the trachea is the air tube, they come from the same analog. So when they separate and there's a problem with the esophagus, there also may be a weakness in the wall of the trachea. But even with that barking cough, you still doesn't, this child will outgrow that too and should be a totally normal child. Could trachea be a little bit soft, too, if you get that kind of a cough? Exactly. In fact, if you look at it, the cartilage which holds the rings, they're called rings around the trachea, which sort of holds the trachea in place, they actually are soft. And so when you cough, or when you exhale, the actual ring structure of the trachea can sometimes narrow. And that's what makes that barking sound. Usually it improves over about 18 months. Sure, years. sure it does. And the thing that's interesting about it is that it sounds worse than its actual bite, so to speak, because if you think about it, you're not, the narrowing is just the noise, and so they'll get kind of noisy, especially if they have like an upper respiratory infection or something, but by the time they get to be a couple of years of age, that barking or that, 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 that loud sound actually will uh, go away.